Okay, now we're recording. <laughs> uh, so now we're recording. So welcome everybody for our Monday night training. Uh, it's July the 15th and we are going to go through, first of all, uh, just the announcements because you know what we do, we sometimes we miss that there's things that are on because we're being busy or just, you know, doing life or whatever it be. Um, so first of all, uh, connecting to our rhythm is really important. Um, I know, you know, some people have been with us for a little bit longer than others. Wherever you're at in your business, if you can add something else and, and take a look, uh, it'll be just awesome. On a Tuesday um, from 6 p.m. onwards, uh, Neora University is in our back office. You can go in there and take a look at that. Um, we've always got really great trainers on there that give us little key uh, takeaways to help us grow our business. But in our world, it's on a Tuesday. Um, in the US, it's written on a Monday. So I've updated these to our time zone in Australia. So for as far as the UK, I, I think it's the morning for you, isn't it? Um, so on a Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. our time, uh, that's on the East Coast for our, the East Coasters. Um, it'll be 4 a.m. for JoJo's World. If you want to get up at that time, go for it. But the corporate call is on and it's simply a Zoom that you just um, log into as far as neurozoom.com forward slash CUC. Uh, these are great calls because you that's where I get most of my information of what's going on. Um, you know, we're consistently uh, moving forward in this business in the transition. We're moving really through the transition of, um, of changing to Neora. Uh, and it's great to go there and find out just the ins and outs of what's happening in our company from our corporate um, home office. Uh, so, of course, we've got our boot camp on a Thursday and on a Friday. There's an edge leadership call for 2 a.m. I don't know who fancies rocking up to that, but maybe the UK, maybe it's a, at your bedtime. I'm not sure. So maybe you could check out that call. Um, as for the College of Mask, in our market in Australia, New Zealand, um, Singapore, they are already 90% sold out. So not many left now. Um, guys, if you want to, if you want to make sure that if you're falling in love with them, like I have, like I rang my mum tonight, going to Melbourne tomorrow, and I'm like, those masks, we're going to use them when I'm in Melbourne. Um, if you've fallen in love with them and you don't want to run out, make sure you go and just buy some more. Get some more as a stash. Um, what a great prize as well, a mask at the um, for hosting an RRP. There's all sorts of incentives you could use just for one mask, you know. So uh, go out and get some extra masks while they're available. Um, these aren't a stock item. They don't, they're not on our normal menu. They're a limited only um, item. So make sure you have some of them. Uh, so 90% sold out. Um, the July Accelerator. If you are a brand new baby brand partner, we are currently uh, in the qualifying period to um, earn points to go on our trip to Vietnam. If you want to have more information by what is that trip and how do I get there, um, you can look at that information in your back office under the marketing department or even better, get in touch with a person that um, is your sponsor or your upline and find out all the ins and outs. Just because you've started now doesn't mean that you're on the back foot or anything like that. There's all these really great opportunities for people to earn extra points at all different at all different points in the uh, qualifying period, like right now in July. July, there are extra points up for grabs and um, and you know whenever the company throws these types of things out we want to run for them so if you want more information on on the finer details you can find that in your back office or I think it's always better to get in contact with the person that um, sponsored you or is supporting you um, hear us from their voice and get excited together and work together towards this it's so much better than reading the flyer uh, put on your calendars so mark your calendars for our next monthly team training. I'm really excited. I've secured Puya Gundian. Um, he's a platinum NMD for you newbies that don't know Puya for you guys that 
had been around for, for longer who do know Puya, you always know that he brings great value to a call. So, you know, it's great to see that we have, we do record these and people that are working or have sport or all the different things that happen on a Saturday um, in our lives. Uh, it's great that we have that recording for you. There's nothing more incredible than turning up and being a part of the energy on that call. It's a really great incentive for all of us to be there for many reasons. Not only that, it's great for Puya to see all of us there. Um, he feels that he's really shown up and, and created and added the value. Um, and I don't know for anybody that does know Puya, it's almost like putting a coin in the socket and the, net, the more people that turn up, that, that coin like winds him up that little bit higher and, um, and it's a little bit crazy when he's around. So, uh, you know, just turn up. Turn up, show up, be there, come along. Um, now I don't have a slide for the final, um, the final thing, which is if you are in Melbourne or if you know anybody in Melbourne, you want to be at the gig tomorrow night. So Deb Highs is our co-CEO. She also is the co-founder of Live Happy. Um, you want to you want to be in front of her you want to listen to her you want to listen to who we actually are at the heart and soul of this company um and she really shares that uh i know there's some people on this call tonight that were in brisbane yesterday i think it was yesterday uh, i don't know if they want to unmute do you want to unmute at all kylie are you keen to unmute i can see you there <laughs> Oh, hang on, I just unmuted you. Yeah, so Kylie, share with us, like, what was Am your I biggest takeaway of um, seeing She was so incredibly inspiring with her speech to a point where I completely fell in love with her all over again because I already had a massive girl crush on her anyway. And after that... Um, when she was doing the book signing, I said, look, you, you've inspired me so much and I know you're, you're the company CEO, but can I give you a hug? And she said, yes, actually, I'm a hugger, so please, let's hug it out. And we just had the biggest rocking, enormous hug. And that to me was, it, it was the embodiment of um, being real. And, and we talk about, um, you know, real results, real people, um, you know, making things better. And, and that to me just completely personified um, everything that's been spoken about. Um, the other thing that she said in her talk was when I had not only a massive light bulb moment, but a massive head slap moment where I just went, oh, you idiot. Uh, she said, if you don't know what your why is, um, now, what was it, Rach? You're going to have to help me along with this. If you, if, you, if you don't know what you want, you're going to start to want what everyone else has. And that gets to the core of if you haven't accurately really narrowed down and accurately described your why, you're just going to piggyback onto everyone else and that doesn't make it your why. It, it needs to be your why. It needs to be extremely personal. It doesn't have to be completely um, overwhelming, but it does have to be very personal and it has to be your why. And that's what makes us unique and that's what makes every single person and every single business, even though we're sharing the same product, makes us all unique. And that's what gives us our power. So that was a couple of takeaways from me. Amazing, amazing, Kylie. And I don't know who a fast typer is here, but if anybody is a fast typer, if you can write in the chat, if you don't have what you want, you will start wanting what other people have. Like how powerful are those words to, like what Kylie said. I got goosebumps again. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thank you so much, Kylie. Anybody else want to share? Deb, Gia, Amanda, who else was there? Laugh. Um, for me, uh, just Deb, how she, can you hear me? Am I? 
yeah how she um just the gratitude you know and and as jeff always says um it, it's a fact it's a fact that when when we live in gratitude and we um live in happiness with happiness and try and find happiness because it is there on our doorstep that it actually is a scientific fact that it leads to success so the happier we are the more grateful we are then um, the more successful we can be. And to do the gratitude, to do the three daily gratitudes and not just write, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's actually really, really getting to the root cause of what have I been grateful for today and sharing with family, sharing with friends, you know, what was the best thing that happened to you today uh, and writing them down because 21 days, you do something for 21 days and it becomes a habit. And so, yeah, happiness and gratitude and we can all make that happen. We can all be in, you know, I've struggled today to be happy. <laughs> I've been really grumpy, actually. I've been quite horrible. But then I was remembering Deb and what she said. And it's just finding a, a little bit of joy in everything. And so, um, yeah, happiness leading to success. That was mine. Awesome. Can I Last, do yeah. on you? Yeah. Oh, just yeah, as you all muted, and then we'll go laugh. Hang on, laugh. Yeah, I just, I just want to piggyback on what um, Deb said because she reaffirmed what I'd read and knew that you can actually make your day good by what you put into your mind. So if you put shit into your mind and you watch the news and you complain about driving to work and you worry about everything if you continually project that into your mind your mind begins to believe that but if you project good things into your mind like what find the good thing she said be the weirdo and of course we're all wired negatively you actually have to make a choice to think positively and to do positive stuff and put positive stuff into your mind, which is why we all read personal development books and we live it, uh, we listen to podcasts. And I listened today to two, believe it or not, um, Live Happy Now. If you haven't subscribed to that podcast, do it. Like it's un, they're only really short, 20 minute um, happy things, positive stuff to feed into your mind. You don't even really have to listen to it, just put it on your headphones and, and it will happen um, if you do it continually. The other thing was just because something, e.g. an RRP or your last product sampling experience or your last Zoom call that you had to present at didn't work out and was not good, doesn't mean you stop doing it because the next time it might be a good experience. So um, what did she say? She said, just because it wasn't a positive experience last time, keep going and keep trying because it will become a positive experience. So they were the two things that, um, yeah, she was amazing. That's awesome. And that app that Gia's talking about, I've, I've downloaded that app on my phone, that Live Happy Now. You'll see it. Just go to your app store and, and, and uh, search Live Happy Now and you'll see it. You'll see our logo. And actually, if anybody is Facebook friends with me, they would have seen I shared to my wall today. Um, it's great to suck at something. Uh, it, and, and teach you, you know, how to, when you're at the point where you're sucking at something, what you say inside your head and enjoy the moment of sucking at it. Um, and she actually talks about sucking at surfing uh, and how much she loves it, but how she sucks at it. Um, so it's a really great, it's every Tuesday, there's a new uh, podcast. It's once a week, once a week, go out there and practice what they, what they teach and, and just change that psychology. So it's really very cool. Um, Lafferty, where are you? Where you have disappeared off my screen. I'm here. I've got yeah, it. Yeah, beautiful. Yep. Um, well, uh, I had, I had, hi everyone. Um, I had the same sort of takeaways, the gratitude, the what you feed into your, what you actually feed into yourself and your output. But my other big takeaway too, which I am a big believer in as well, is events. And she, um, she talked a little bit about the fact about refilling your bucket. 
and in the regards that whatever is going on, whatever event is in your local area, that if you can get to it, it's so important because you might be having a down day or a down week or a down month, but as soon as you go along and you see all your, you know, all your other brand partner friends, it sort of lifts you up and it starts to inspire you a bit more and get you back on track, so to speak. So I found that one really good because I know myself that when I do attend something, I'm on fire afterwards. I think, right, that's it. It sort of puts a firecracker up my butt and I'm like, right, let's start again. You know, it just, uh, and plus too, I enjoy a bit of a social outing as well to see everyone and say good day. So yeah, that's mine. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Flash. Uh, and in saying that, um, I'm just not sure if she's open to share, but Amanda, are you there? She's going to look at me and go, can I just hide now? <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. You even unmuted yourself. <laughs> I'm not sure. My computer keeps freezing. I can hear everyone, but everyone stops moving. So I'm not sure what's happening. But um, yeah, I guess a lot of what the Michelles, let's call the Michelles, um, said about putting positive stuff into your mind. So um, I know I've been like watching a lot of stuff that, you know, has not been positive stuff and maybe I need to start cutting all that out and, and um, just reinforcing the positive positivity in life. And one of the challenges she gave us was, um, you know, not to think of negative things for a day. And I did that today. And it was, it was very interesting because, um, you know, you, you start think of a negative thought and then you stop yourself and turn it into a positive. So, yeah, that was an interesting um, uh, thing to do today. But I'll keep doing that, I think, because, you know, turn it around and put a negative into a positive is a, such, is a, a lot better place to be. So, yeah, that's me. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Good on you, Amanda. Um, you know, and this is what I love so much about our business is here's Amanda who's rocked up to this gig yesterday where you probably didn't know much about Deb Highs, did you? Um, and she's like, yeah, just come along. And she, she, we had a chat later um, that evening, Amanda and I, and she's like, I, I had the usual voices in my head. Oh, it's much more comfortable to stay at home. Anybody heard of that before? It's much more comfortable to kick back and watch TV tonight instead of going to this thing this afternoon. But no, she, she didn't allow those voices to dictate what she was going to get at that event. And she went to the event. And, uh, and now look at the difference and the improvement of the quality of her life in one day, just a day. Now it's up to Amanda to practice that every day to actually change the way her brain is wired to think. Um, and I remember um, often uh, one of my mentors used to say to me, how do you always spin things around? And I always, and, and people who know me well will hear me say a lot, um, well, what's great about that is, so it's just, it became just a, a line that is a part of my brain and a part of my response makeup where I literally say, you know, but what's great about that is, because when someone's like putting a damper in something or there, or you are even putting a damper on it, on yourself, um, it's a really great way to have a line that you spin things around to a positive outcome. Um, because there's great in everything. It's just the, our perception and how we want to, how we want to perceive that. Now, guys, Monday, tomorrow, um, not Monday, tomorrow night, the event's in Melbourne. It's in South Yarra. I'm literally, I'm flying to Melbourne to go to this event to see Deb. I've rounded up some of my friends. I'm like, I'm ringing them and messaging them and just saying to them, you know, it is a work do. But at the same time, this lady, she's the co-founder of Live Happy. This is my passion. This is what I love so much is to improve the quality of people's lives in many different ways. And if you're going to improve the qualities of people's lives, including your own, you have to surround yourself with people that want to do the same. Deb is a master of this. I cannot wait to spend a couple of hours with her. If you know anybody in Melbourne and you can't get to Melbourne tomorrow, send them my way. Hook them up with me. I, I've actually been sending messages to prospects as well and saying to them, if you, if you want to come, just come along and have a listen to Deb. Come along and have a look at who we are to the core, who we actually are as a culture of a company. If you have somebody that you know, you have 24 hours until that event. I think it starts at 6.30. It's in South Yarra. It's very central. 
hook them up with me. I will look after them for you. I will absolutely uh, wrap my arms around them and help them look at who we are. Um, please, you know, do it for yourself. She does not come to Australia normally. She's actually here for a conference uh, which is actually in Melbourne as well. Um, and she's here for that conference. And, and it's an international positive education um, conference. And uh, she's a part of the board of that. And so is Jeff Olson. They're a part of the board of this international group that go to different parts of the world every year to hold this particular conference. People come from everywhere. So this is really special that she's here and we actually get to spend time with her. Next on the weekend, she's gonna be in Tasmania. Same deal, who do you know in Tassie? Like, who do you know? Who do you know that knows someone in Tassie that could go, and, and you don't even have to lead this with our business. Lead this with live happy. Lead with this with, you know, people who are actually in the world of self-development, in the world to improving their lives and improving the quality of their lives. This business might be a fit for them, but it is a fit for them to live happy. It's one thing that is absolutely certain that I can put my hands down is that people, that's what people want. So I'm going to flick over to this training. So give me two secs while I just share my screen. And we're going to be listening to uh, Raylan share some gold on um, on a gold little goal that she created uh, to build her business. Oh, hang on, flicked over to the wrong one. Okay, can you guys see her? Is she taking up my whole screen? Yep. Okay. No sound, Rach. Is that all good? Can everyone hear? No, no sound. No, no sound. sound. No sound. Really? No. Hang on a sec. Jai, I want That's your not... dressing gown. Oh, I was inspired by Lucy. Where is she? <laughs> There's leopard skin stuff everywhere. Oh, sorry. Gone. Yeah, let's see if this works. Uh, hang on. I can't disconnect the uh, the Bluetooth. I tried to be really smart and use my Bluetooth. Sure. So, Good. Um, yeah, she's right. I am super silly. Um, I'm always that way. So I'm, I project myself that way on Facebook as well. I probably do and say some things on Facebook that I probably shouldn't, but it is what it is. And that's just who I am. So, you know, you attract the people that you attract and you, I don't know, I guess the people that don't like it can not look at it. <laughs> that's what I feel like, but um, I do. I just, I try to have fun. Um, in life, I try to have fun in, in the business. And um, so if you're not having fun, I promise you, you're not doing it right. So um, you just need to, you know, lighten up and have a good time. <laughs> you're so cute. I love it. I, um, I, I, I love how you say lighten up and have a good time. One of the things I love about you so much is no matter when I see you, you're always smiling. You have the greatest smile and the biggest dimples and you just light it up every time I see you. I don't know what it is, but your energy is infectious. And um, so I want you to, I want you to tell us, talk to us about what you're doing, um, specifically kind of what you're doing on Facebook. Um, 
tell us also about that goal. Maybe start with that goal and then kind of what you're doing on Facebook and how you're keeping track of what you're doing. Okay. So um, my goal uh, just recently, actually about six months ago, I set a goal that I really wanted to get 5,000 in personal volume or 50 customers. And, and so I, you know, I thought, well, 50 customers and 5,000 probably go pretty closely together. So like, which one am I going to get first? That was kind of like my back and forth myself. Like, am I going to get 50 customers first? Am I going to get 5,000 first? So uh, the last two months I have got over 5,000 in personal customer volume, which is, oh my gosh, like that's super amazing, right? Like that's super fun. And I love seeing that, but you know, it didn't come right away. I didn't go out and get 50 new customers in the last 60 days. But what I did do is I always have, I set a goal for myself that every month I at least want to get three or three qualified. So without fail, I have to get three brand new customers that have never um, ordered before. I try to get a couple of new customers back, you know, with a new product or, or possibly a different product. But I mean, I, I don't, if it's like the last day of the month and I don't have three customers, which rarely ever happens, but if it did happen, like I would not, I would not go to bed until I got myself three customers because I think especially now, you know, we, Mike and I got started, my husband and I got started, um, it'll be seven years in just a few days is our anniversary coming up uh, with the company. But, uh, you know, when we got started, we only had one product. So when you have one product, you're like, okay, if I, if I share, um, you know, if I share night cream with Teresa and she, she's not really into night cream. Like we had, I got nothing else. I got nothing else to show you, but now we have so many awesome products. So in, in my thinking, if you don't, if, you know, if you're not, if you don't have three customers right now, like don't beat yourself up about that, but think about, we have so many products. All you have to do is find three people that just want one of them. So I really think that, you know, having that goal set for myself and I do it month after month. And so after you add three new people every single month, it really does start to add up and you start to see the momentum um, growing. So um, I, with, with that, I had to obviously sample a lot of people. I had to talk to a lot of people about Neora. And I needed a way to keep it all straight because when I first got started, raise your hand if you're the girl or the guy that has like a million slips of paper, some of them are in your purse, some of them are in your back pocket, some of them are stuck in your wallet, some of them are on a napkin, like God only knows where, where half of them are. And, and you probably lose half of them and you forget, you know, to follow up with the person that you got their information with. So I don't do that anymore. So I went to my husband and I was like, babe, you have to help me. I don't know. I, when you, if you say the word Excel to me, I'm like, because I'm a, I'm a people person, not a numbers person, and I'm not a computer person. So that, that all that stuff freaks me out. But my husband, God love him, he is so good at everything like that. So I just told him I want something super simple. I just want something that I can write down at the end of the day. Everybody I talk to, what I talk to them about. If I sent them a sample, if I sent them a video, and the date that I did all of this stuff. So he worked on it a little bit. He came up with this really simple, and I'll show it to you, and I will be sending this to Anna, and so you guys can post it on your team page or whatever. But um, it's just, it looks like this. Um, there's a few columns that says the name, and then the second column is the most important. Um, when I'm talking to people about the skincare, the one question that I always ask every single person, I bet you I've asked this question thousands of times, I always say, what about your skin are you not currently in love with? Because there is not one person that I've ever asked that question to that's like, oh, my skin is fabulous. It's perfect and flawless. And there's nothing, nothing else that, you know, I could do to, to make my skin better. Every single person has an answer to that question. So you should be asking every single person, so what about your skin are you not currently in love with? See, so it just rolls off my tongue because I've asked it so many times. Um, so I had him put up here, what about your skin, health, or finances are you not currently in love with? I had him put that up there just so it reminds me that, you know, I want to ask that person uh, these questions. I don't ask every single person all of the questions, but if it pertains to that person, then 
you know, then I'm going to, I'm going to ask. You find out so much from people if you just ask that simple question. So there's that. And then it says picture sent in here, and then follow up, sample sent, and date sent. So super, super easy. I'm going to show you what one looks like. So here um, you put the, the month. Okay, so I put the month right here that I um, that I'm working on, and um, it has I don't know how many how many lines it has, but it doesn't matter. My goal every month is to put two of these sheets up. So I have a visual. I was telling Anna I have a visual of what I'm actually doing in a month's time because a lot of people think that they're busy, and a lot of people think, well, I talk to a lot of people, but in reality, if you were writing it down, maybe you only talk to eight people that month. Maybe you only talk to ten, and if the ratio is one out of ten are going to say yes, like I don't want just ten people. Like I don't want just one customer. I want a lot more than one customer. So it also gives me a visual and not every month is stellar. Like I have some months I'm like, well, no wonder I didn't do that well because look at, look at my sheet. So every day um, while I'm talking to the person, I try to write it down. Um, but at the end of the day, um, if it's busy and crazy, I just go back into my messenger and my Facebook or my text messages, however I spoke with them. And I write all their information down on the sheet. And it just keeps me, holds me accountable, keeps me um, with everything in one in one spot. So I have this handy dandy um, staples notebook that costs like a dollar twenty five, and I have two years worth of these sheets in here. You can look, you can see like there's just month after month after month. I have these these sheets in here. So when I get a customer, I um, I highlight it in pink. So you can see like that was a pretty, pretty awesome month. Um, and then this was March. We got this and this. So um, just visually, I hope you guys can see that it's not anything special, but it's working. Like there's lots of pink on there. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> you can kind of look on there and you can, that, that makes me excited. Like that shows me that what I'm doing is working. I know when to follow up with people. And I was telling Anna too, that when I ask the people the question, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm looking for their pain, whether it be, you know, something with their skin, something with their finances, something with their health, because it doesn't matter what you're selling. If you just find a person's pain and, and give them a solution, they're going to be forever indebted to you. So Let's say, so every time I ask the person what their pain is, I write it down. So let's say that I am sharing it with Carol and Carol tells me, I ask her, so Carol, what about your skin are you not currently in love with? And she's like, well, Raylan, I have these lines around my eyes that drive me crazy. I mean, every time I see myself in photos, and I'm just like, who is that person? How did she get so old? So I write that down in that little line. I put, you know, Carol has lines around her eyes that she doesn't like. And when she sees a photo of herself, she's not happy with it. So I write down what she tells me. Now, let's say Carol decides that, you know, this month is not a good month. Or for whatever reason, she doesn't order the eye serum that she said that she wanted. So if I'm scrolling through Facebook one day and I see a really good, photo. If there's a photo that stops me in my tracks and stops my scroll, then I, I look at that, I save it on my phone, and then I can go back. I can literally go back two years and I can see who on my sheet said that their eyes was the issue and they haven't ordered yet. They're not in pink yet. So I'll, I just send a copy and paste message and I'll just say, you know, hey girl, saw this photo of of some eyes today. Look at what Miura's eye serum did for this gal. I know that back in uh, January, I spoke with you because I, I have it on my sheet when we talked. I said, back in January, we taught you told me that you have some lines around your eyes that really drive you crazy. And girl, if you still have those lines, I can hook you up. So I make it super fun, super easy. And I remind her of what her pain is. Because, you know, in a gentle way, I remind her. <laughs> and so many times people on, when I follow up with them like that, and I give them even more proof that, that our products work, then, I mean, it's just, it's kind of like a, it's, it's a door closer, quite honestly. I mean, they're like, oh my gosh, yes, I do. And I think the fact that I say, do you, if you still have that cellulite, 
if you don't want to, you know, if you still have that cellulite, you don't want to take it to the pool this year, just let me know. I can hook <laughs> you up. I mean, you guys, you gotta have to be fun with it because nobody wants like a sales pitch. Nobody wants like, you know, it, nobody wants that. I think that that's why I'm so successful with it is because I just talk to people like I would normally talk to them if they were sitting in front of me. Like I wouldn't be all salesy and weird if we were having lunch together. So I'm not going to be all salesy and weird when we're on Facebook or messenger or whatever we're doing. Um, I also use, um, 90% of the time, I feel like I'm pretty successful with this, but about 90% of the time I have gotten into the habit of always leaving a voice text, no matter how I'm doing it, whether it be on Facebook or, or text, I try to do it with my voice so they can hear my voice it's so much better. I do videos a lot because I'm not afraid of camera. So I just do videos a lot. It doesn't matter if I'm all put together. Sometimes I'm just coming out of the gym all sweaty. Like you just have to be real with people. And I think that's what people connect with. So, um, so that's my sheet system. Um, it's simple. It works. It, whenever I have a rule also that if my driver's license is with me, so is this notebook. And one time I, I thought I lost it and I literally like was the closest to having a panic attack that I've ever had because that's like my entire like two years of work is in this folder. So um, after that, I definitely took, um, I took copies of my, my work because I was like, oh my gosh, I lose that. And I did. I left it at Starbucks. <laughs> oh no. Awesome. So they go on to a whole nother topic. Um, I don't want to bring in another topic right now. Uh, I just really wanted you guys to see, like, she just got obsessed about bringing on three new customers every single month to turning that into her goal of bringing on 50 new customers. Because when we're continually bringing on those new people, that new blood, that the new experience that people are having, uh, new before and after photos are always good too. Um, it's always really great. It's the turning your business over, uh, putting products on people's skin. And I loved what she said. Um, did you all get like lots from her? Wasn't she great? Great information that I loved her follow-up system. You know, how many people are, are consistently confused about a follow-up system and what sort of follow-up system to, to build? Like, how's the way? She, she comes across a great um, before and after photo of eyes, um, goes through her list and finds everybody that had um, a concern with eyes and sends them all, the, sends them all a message. You know, it's just a really fabulous um, system to put in place. Uh, I, I do totally love, you know, bring on three new customers every single month. And she, until the last minute of, of the end of month, if she hasn't completed that, she works right to the end to make sure she has that over the line. So, guys, I'm looking at the time. It's, um, it's 10 minutes over our time together. Uh, I want to thank everybody for um, coming along tonight from uh, whether you're from Western Australia all the way to New Zealand and everyone in between. Um, it's great to see you all here. It's awesome to see Deb tomorrow night. Whoever's in Melbourne, whoever has somebody in Melbourne, please hook me up. I'd love to, love to help host you, um, your guest, or if you've got a brand partner that's on their own, um, bring them along, get them there. I'm more than happy. Connect me, connect me in a three-way chat with you. Um, I would love to help you uh, really go to an event that can, or your, your friends or whoever to go to that event um, and really get the most out of who we are as a company because really what we really have here is an absolute gift. Um, have a great week, everyone. We'll see you on the other side. Uh, Thanks, see you Rach. Yeah, take care. Enjoy Melbourne. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, Rach.